Hello and welcome to the desk of Fusta 2005. Today we're going to be unboxing the Marshall Acton 2 speaker. This particular version has Amazon Alexa enabled on it. There are uh, different versions that have a Google Voice and also one that doesn't have any of them. Uh, this, uh, this, this one was uh, the cheapest version at the time that I bought it last week. So, uh, and my, my house is pretty well ingrained with Alexa anyway, so I thought that this would be a good option. And uh, as you could probably tell from my previous videos well, a while ago, I think probably uh, it's been two years maybe, one year, one and a half years, I do play the guitar, so I do have a Marshall amplifier for guitars. For both my acoustic electric and my electric guitar, so I do like the sound that Marshall has. I'm kind of excited to see what Marshall has in store for a, a small, uh, somewhat portable. It's not a uh, battery. They do Marshall does make portable uh, speakers uh, that have that are battery powered, but uh, this particular version uh, is the smallest of the plug-in. Uh, models. Uh, they do have, I believe, two. They have a mid size one and a large speaker. But uh, this is this is all I bought for myself. So let's let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> the back of the box, uh, as it says, is Amazon Alexa enabled. You can hook it up to obviously Wi-Fi for the Amazon. Uh, it is Bluetooth, and you can hook up your Spotify if you want. Uh, it says it has one 30-watt Class D amplifier. It has two 10-watt um, tweeters. Uh, the 30-watt is the woofer. Uh, obviously, voice control connects to Internet, Bluetooth, and for those of you who still have 3.5-millimeter uh, headphone jacks, you can you can plug that in. Uh, if you have it on your phone, or maybe you have a, a different speaker, for for example, I can hook up my projector that I um, that I reviewed uh, a few months back to this, and instead of using the onboard speakers on the projector, I can plug it into this speaker and have a much better experience. So I think that's pretty much it. On the side here, it does say you can uh, set it up for multi-room music. So if you have, uh, like, uh, they do have bigger versions. You can get two of these, have stereo uh, speakers in your room. Kind of whatever you want to do here. So uh, let's finally get to the box. I'll stop rambling and kind of get into the box here. frame here. It is a fairly large box, so, so we got uh, just the stabilization here. Get rid of that. Uh, some foam. Well, we just lift it out here. The side. On the bottom of the box, this is obviously the speaker in the bottom of the box here. You do have your manual and, of course, the, uh, the power cable. So, that's pretty much it. You got some, uh, obviously, your standard anti-moisture packets. I always like to keep these in case uh, you have a phone that has, uh, that's not waterproof. You can uh, get a bunch of these and stick it around your phone. It'll suck the moisture right out of it. So I've said that in my previous videos, but uh, I do like to keep these. Let's go ahead and get rid of the box. So here we go. It's a fairly, it's a fairly heavy speaker. Um, let's go ahead and. 
I don't know, I'd say it probably weighs about two, three pounds. It is uh, pretty solid. I think it's uh, wood construction. It's got some metal up here, uh, smooth, smooth dials. Obviously you got your 3.1 headphone jack here. I uh, believe this is the selector if you have auxiliary, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi. Uh, you got a mute speaker for the Amazon Alexa and a play pause button. And you can uh, manually con control the volume. I believe these are electric so it's not, uh, it's not solely con um, controlled from here but you can manually control the volume, you can manually control the bass and treble, but I believe there's an app that comes with this. I'll have to uh, pull that out when I do the full review of this at a later date. After I've played around with it for a while, we'll probably do that. Um, but it is electric, so you can uh, control all of these through the app, and even, I uh, and obviously Alexa can control the volume as well. Uh, it's got a very nice fabric it's uh, they are built my uh, guitar amplifier I mean this is very similar you can it, it's a solid speaker it's got some uh, pretty good rubber rubber feet on the bottom here um, so it's not gonna it's not gonna slide around too much on you uh, let's see so it's uh, it's not real leather obviously it's kind of the uh, the fake leather feel to it but that's kind of what their uh, current amplifiers are made out of so they're very uh, sturdy and well built uh, so this is your subwoofer here you got your power cord in the back here um, obviously all the all the, the safety trademark and other information is back here in different languages so yeah I mean this is pretty much <laughs> it for the unboxing just kind of wanted to go through that stuff with you uh, apparently they did uh, th this particular I, I think these uh, lights down here are to tell you if Amazon or uh, Amazon Alexa is listening to you or enabled uh, and then it's got a uh, kind of a brass band here at the bottom with uh, established 1962 which is what uh, when Marshall came to be so yeah I mean that's pretty much it for the unboxing uh, please stay tuned for a future review of this and I, I'll play some things through it and see see how it does uh, all the reviews that I have seen so far have been pretty favorable obviously this is a smaller speaker uh, so you're not gonna get uh, the same volume you would for for, for a, a bigger speaker, especially of their bigger series. They have a, one that's probably 8 inches, I don't know how, how uh, wide this is, we can check here. It's 10 inches, I think they have one at 12, and then there's another one at 14 uh, across, and they're obviously bigger and heavier. Um, this will probably do well for what I'm going to use it for in the the music room so I, I kinda chose Marshall just to keep with the theme of guitars and and such so yeah uh, again stay tuned for the review and we'll see you on the next one